now we've got a state lawmaker who is proposing banning anti-Semitic teachings in our schools. Fox 17 News' Justin McFarland is here to explain what we've learned this morning. Well, what we're finding out is this is coming from the retiring state representative on Jerry Sexton there from East Tennessee. He's introduced this. Now, the whole idea, he says, is to make sure that anti-Semitic messages are not being taught to Tennessee students. That's why this bill would completely ban uh, certain thoughts and feelings about the Jewish community from being taught in Tennessee classrooms. Now, in case you're wondering exactly what kind of messages that could be banned, Listen to the representative explain it right there on the House floor. Please listen carefully. Denying the Jewish people their right to self-determination. In other words, by claiming that the existence of the state of Israel is a racist endeavor. Using the symbols and images associated with classic anti-Semitism, in other words, claims of Jews killing Jesus. Close to $4,000 a year. That's how much some Williamson County teachers have to pay for their children to attend public schools. The district's policy says teachers who live outside the county must pay tuition for their kids to attend. Right now, Fox 17 News' Jackie Del Pilar and Franklin, after learning government policies are getting the blame and teachers are the ones suffering. Jackie. Williamson County School District leaders say this is a county decision and it's up to county commissioners to make any changes. But county commissioners I spoke with say they want to hear from the school board before they make any changes. Meanwhile, teachers are paying thousands of dollars a year begging for someone to make a change. Teacher Marty Loy moved to Tennessee from Georgia in 2019. She accepted a job with Williamson County Schools and enrolled her children in the district soon after. She had no idea that decision would cost her thousands of dollars in tuition. It wasn't on the website. It wasn't on the application. It wasn't anywhere, so I felt kind of blindsided. Loy says she loves teaching for Williamson County and her children love going to school here. But she says the tuition policy has had a major impact on her family's budget. At some point, something has to give and they might want to revisit this and, and understand that people from out of county need something um, because the salaries are not the highest in the area. A WCS spokesperson tells me the policy is in place because county commissioners believe out of county employees should contribute to the costs that locals pay through property tax. I reached out to county commissioners asking whether they support teacher tuition and if they would consider changing it. I tried contacting them three times in the last three weeks. Of the 24 commissioners, five responded and just one agreed to interview. This is our policy and we have a right as a county to make up our own policies. Commissioner Greg Lawrence says he's willing to study the issue if the school board asks them to, but they haven't gotten any formal requests from the school board to change it. I mean, it's a long-standing policy that's been in place for almost 20 years. And uh, I, I mean, there, there has been no impetus to change it uh, up to this point. Talking to the school, they made it sound like this was just a county commission issue. But now you as a county commissioner are saying you want to hear from the school board. So it's kind of like a, a weird bureaucracy thing going on here. <laughs> uh, well, look, I mean, the schools are, are, are the moment. They're the ones who are best in, in the position to tell us what they need to attract and retain quality employees. And if they come to us and say, look, look this is a big problem. We can't get employees. And this is a this is a, a, a impediment to us hiring new employees. Then, then I, I think we'll look at it. But. It's only logical, I think, that it starts with the school board. I reached out to school board members on this, and I'm waiting to hear back. Teachers like Loy are urging them to consider changing the policy to help educators like her. Teacher tuition makes up about $300,000 of the district's proposed budget of $467 million. That's less than 1% of the overall budget. Commissioner Lawrence says he believes the county can find that money elsewhere if the school board asks them to.